Hi, GDR here in beautiful Jamaica with another reading from my work that you've requested that I start reading some pieces from this work for you. Well, I'm very happy to do it. I'd much prefer to hear anyone read my work than me, but you've asked for it, so here it comes. This is a little section from The Mountain Shadow, sequel to Shantara, and uh, it takes you back in a time when Bombay was Bombay before it was Mumbai, and uh, there were barber shops sprinkled around that just about every guy went to. So here we go. This is a particular one. Ahmed's House of Style barbershop was one of the last to resist modernization into a hairdressing salon. It had three red leather and chromium chairs. They were man chairs, endowed with hypnotic powers, and no guy I knew could resist them for long. The mirrors you faced when you sat in those chairs were covered with mugshots of previous victims, none of them happy. They were customers who'd agreed to have their photograph posted in exchange for a free haircut. They were there as a warning not to ask for, or receive, or accept a free haircut in the house of style. Ahmed had a dark sense of humor, which is not something you look hard for in a barber. But he was a blood-in-the-bone Democrat, and we rated him for that. He tolerated every opinion, and absolute freedom of speech was guaranteed in his barber shop. It was the only place I knew in the whole city where Muslims could call Hindus fanatics and Hindus could call Muslims fanatics and get all that stuff out of their system without riots. It was addictive. It was a bigotry bazaar and customers seized it by the biased lapels. It was as though everyone in Ahmed's house of style was on true serum and all of it was forgiven and forgotten by everyone as soon as a customer walked out into the street. Ahmed shaved me with a razor as sharp as a cycle killer's moustache. When you live on the wrong side of the legal tracks, the number of people you trust to shave you with a straight razor dwindles to not many. Ahmed was trustworthy because he was so true to his craft that he couldn't possibly kill me with a straight razor. It was against the barber's code. I hope you enjoyed. Next reading will be from the spiritual path. A lot of you readers have asked me for something from the spiritual path. There will be a talking book coming from that. We're so flat out doing this work at the moment, creating new content for you guys. That is coming. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you like it, I'll do some more readings from The Mountain Shadow and Chantra. Blessings and love from Jamaica.